Hello YouTube, and I'm going to talk about some stank. What have you been up to? I've been riding on a daydream. 2020 Rockwood. Ever since we got the RV, if we have any gray water in it, we get a bit of a smell. Uh, it doesn't seem like that it's consistent, and it was coming on at different times. Now, I'm well aware of how the plumbing works. I'm well aware that gray water can stink just as much as black water, if not more, uh, because of everything that's going in the gray tank. Maybe a little bit of food particles from your sink. Maybe body oils coming from yourself when you're taking a shower. Uh, maybe you might take a little tinkle in the shower. <laughs> so, anyways, gray water could build up an odor, especially when it gets warmer out. Uh, the tank gets warmer and that odor will come in but the sinks all have built-in ways of keeping that smell out and just like your house the p-trap and basically all that is it keeps water in the little area in which everything flows through there will always be water to block any kind of a smell that may come up through the drains but there's another way that it can come in, and I'm sure you guys have seen video on this, and that's the air admittance valve, the cheater valve, whatever you want to call it. It's basically a valve that allows your, your drain lines to siphon the water into the enclosed tank. Remember, the tank is sealed off. It's not like it's going out someplace. And there could be, when there's a lot of water being drained, let's say from your kitchen sink, uh, a point where it'll go bloop, go bloop, go bloop, <laughs> or gurgle, gurgle, gurgle as it's going down because it's just like taking a water jug and turning it upside down. Let's say you get, you know, a one gallon water jug and you just turn it upside down. The water kind of chugs its way out. Well, if you put just a little hole in the end of the, the bottom of the jug, the air on the outside should equalize with the air that's trying to be extracted from the inside as that water's leaving the jug, if the hole's the right size, uh, to allow the water to pour out smoothly. So basically your RV has that built into it also. So on top of these vents are these valves and what they are is basically it's a little flap. Now again, we have a 2020 and this is something that we didn't experience with our old 92 travel trailer and we even had a real basic vent valve that was on there originally and I thought I can't believe this thing hasn't caused any odors or smell in the RV well what I'm finding is this RV is sealed off pretty darn well and when we have both max air fans running with everything closed which you shouldn't do <laughs> for obvious reasons you're not drawing in any air it's going to find some place to pull air in and it was pulling it out of those valves. Now those valves are set up that they shouldn't allow smell to come out of it. It's just to allow air to go in whenever it's draining. But the manufacturers, when they're building these things, they're just throwing on some cheap valves. And even though this is a newer RV than our old RV, um, these cheap valves are much worse than the old cheap valve that used to be on the old RV. So I did what everybody else was doing at the time, and I bought some of these. These are those HEPO valve sanitary waste valves. I don't know if you've seen these, but basically what it is is it has a, a sock inside of it. Let's just call it a sock. And it allows everything to go through one way, through the sock, but the sock is tapered and closed. You know, it expands as water's going through. It's basically a one-way valve, so it doesn't allow any of that stuff to come back up through as far as any kind of smell or, or pressure from the tank. The problem is, which I found out the hard way, was even though this is for an inch and a half pipe, it's not for inch and a half black ABS pipe. And a lot of our newer RVs, they have black ABS pipe. What this is made for is actually just to kind of get rid of the P-trap. But I wasn't having a problem with the P-traps. I was having a problem with the air admittance valve, but I thought I could still use this because it says it's good for inch and a quarter up to inch and a half pipe. Well, my pipe said inch and a half. The black ABS said inch and a half. The fittings all said inch and a half. So I went ahead and purchased two of these. 
because I have two of those valves, I figured I'd go ahead and just cut the pipe and put this in line and get rid of that valve. Well, it doesn't work. It's the wrong size. So what I did instead was started doing a little bit of research and found that there are some really good, they're expensive, they're about $24, $22. I'm going to put the link down below for them. But there's a couple of good valves that are so easy to install, it makes this look like rocket science, trying to figure out how to get a rocket into space. <laughs> uh, these are very easy to install because they don't require any tools. You just reach in and unscrew the cheap ones that the manufacturer put on your RV and you install these better made ones. So I was concerned thinking, well, maybe, you know, it's a valve. Maybe it's just a different design valve and it's still going to cause a stink. Well, I'm going to tell you right now that if we would have our windows open in the RV here and I had both max air fans running, even though I had, let's say, three windows open, both max air fans are moving more air than those three windows can provide. But it's nice because you can direct the breeze where you want it. So if Heidi's sitting on the couch and I'm sitting in the chair in the back, I can open up those two windows and turn on the max air fans and know that I'm going to be pulling the air through those two at a pretty good velocity to the point where there's actually a breeze coming across us, which is really nice because you don't have to run the air conditioning. The problem was is those old valves would do their best to help supply some air themselves coming from the tanks. And numerous times, even when we had the one window open, let's say the kitchen window here, and had the vent on maybe medium or even low uh, in the bathroom, when we would come back from wherever we may be for, let's say, five hours, as soon as you walked in, it just smelled. You could smell it right away. So I was concerned that this new valve is just a new design. It's just a different design and it may not actually offer anything great. And boy was I wrong. And here's what we did to test that. We closed up every window in the RV. We turned both max airs on high and we left the RV for two hours with those things running on high. And we walked in here and did the smell test right underneath the sink where it was the absolute strongest. You could just, it's just lofting in there. It was horrible. And it smells like wooden cabinet. That's all it smells like now because those things really work. So again, the ones that I'm going to tell you to buy, the link's going to be down below. This works for anything that has an inch and a half black ABS and you'll be able to go ahead and install those instead of what you currently have by just unscrewing them and screwing in the new ones maybe a little Teflon tape on them and then that's it it'll make it to where all that smell goes away let me show you what they look like okay so the lighting's not the best in here but there's the valve right there that's all it is is that white valve and it screws on to this black ABS pipe and the smell is non-existent any longer. Uh, I have the same type of valve over on the kitchen sink. And again, the same thing. The smell is non-existent. Where before, just sitting here in this area with that cabinet door open and those fans running, oh, it was horrible. You could just, like I said, it was just lofting. The smell was lofting. So before you go through, and try any kind of replumb or redo like this. Go ahead and pick those up. Again, links in the description. Click on the link. It'll take you right to the one and a half inch size. I'm sure that's what you have. Just double check your black pipe. Somewhere on the black pipe or on the fittings should say one, you know, inch and a half, one dash half. Um, pick those up, unscrew your old ones, put a little Teflon tape on, screw in the new ones. And that might be it for you because it is for us. I wish I would have known that before I cut that ABS and tried to put this, which was the wrong size, on there in the first place. I appreciate you guys. And as always, we hope to see you out there. Bye.